we are back again in the C4 Corvette. She hadn't run in a little bit, so I figured it's time to take her out, get her uh, warmed up. Before we get to the video, I got another extremely high quality Icon Professional Ratchet Low Profile 92 3 8 Drive lifetime guaranteed to give away to one of my fantastic subscribers. I was going to get the gold plated one, but they were all out. You know the deal to enter. Just like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and then send an email to my business email, which is over right here. That way I can keep track of everybody that's entered. And two weeks after the release date of the video, I will pick a winner, make a short about the winner, and get in contact with you through the email. And you can have yourself a brand new Icon Low Profile. You, yeah, you guys can read. Appreciate you guys checking out the videos. So here you go. A little something something to give back to you. Give me two million subscribers and uh, I'll give somebody my boat. How about that? There you go. You want my boat? You can have it. Million subscribers. My boat is yours. I'll throw in a sticker or something too. There you go. All right. I'll see you guys. She's got that nice cam lope now. Oh. It is hot as beans and we don't have air conditioning, so bear with me. I'm going to make this as brief as possible. Like I said, I haven't driven it in like a month, so hopefully she drives good. We're about to find out. And here we go. Under the hood. Shoo. 
it is hot. We go on. You manually select your gears. You got four speeds here. I got one, two, three, four. And then my fifth-ish gear is my lockup. So that locks my torque converter. So you can hear it downshift kind of, or upshift, I suppose. So if I turn it off, you could, you should kind of hear it sound like a downshift. So what that means is I'm the two turbine sides of the torque converter that usually spin loosely but are connected through a fluid connection, a viscous coupler, one might say. There's a clutch in between those two turbine sides. I'm not exactly sure what you call those things. So when I flip that lockup switch, that clutch engages, and now your torque converter, your torque converter will not convert torque. No, that's not true. Wait, that means your torque, oh. Yeah. All right, let me try that again. That means your torque converter converts more torque because now it's locked together. There's no fluid, there's no forgiveness in that. Locked up. That's what the lockup is. Now you know. Does that mean it sucks to drive with the manual valve body? No, it's not bad. Uh, like I said, I haven't driven it in quite a long time and so I'm forgetting some stuff. I'm having to relearn it a little bit, but it's real easy. There's no clutch, there's no heel toe, this and that. There's none of that stuff. You're just basically driving and when you wanna shift, you shift. It's, it's that easy. So if you've ever driven a manual, it's real easy to go to a manual valve body. If you've never driven a manual, a manual valve body might be a wee bit confusing at first. And yes, just when I look down like this, I'm still looking at the road. I'm just pointing the camera at that with my head. So don't worry, I'm not, I'm not taking my eyes off the road. So that's the gist of it. It's not a manual, it's not an automatic, but technically it's still probably considered an automatic. And they make these for all kinds of transmissions. You can get one for your 4L80, for a Turbo 400, a Turbo 350. I don't know, I'm sure you could get a 4L60 to work with one of these, but... But, but come on, man, it's a 4L60. Like I said, I've got the 4L80 version, so it has the four speeds and the overdrive, or the lockup. The Turbo 400 would have three speeds. It would be the same thing. A power glide has two speeds. You get the you get the thing. You get it. You guys are smart. You guys are smart. The people around me when I'm talking to the camera probably think I'm a bonkers maniac. That's all right. That's the other benefit. If you were to race this thing, which I would never do, never ever ever do that, you can downshift. So if you're cruising, you're on the on the streets, on the roads, you can downshift get into a, a better racy gear, even go into second, so you get my RPMs up to 2,000, and then you're ready to go. You can hit it, you can hit it. I'm not really hitting it, just barely hitting it, but you get the point. It is freaking hot, oh my gosh. If you guys ever like have AC in a race car that you're not like dead serious about it being super fast, don't take the air conditioning out. For the love of heavens, do not take the air conditioning out. All right, the crusty, trusty GoPro died again. It's pretty much the only way you can get me to shut up is just hope the GoPro dies. Dang, that dude is chewing into that firewall. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. Got our Aaron out here. Get some of that hot air out of there. It was a toasty one today. Maybe I need to bolt that computer down to something. Who knows? Up. Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.